My name is Asher the Shadow Warrior, son of Ray, Lord of the Stone Fort. I was not born into my title or castle like most folk. I earned them. I grew up in Robeton, or as most would call it, Flea Town, Tongue Bottom, or just Muck. My father Ray was a sapper, and I didn't even know my ma, so I did not get my skills from them. I had to help earn gold if me and Pa were to survive the winters, so I became an apprentice for the local blacksmith. That is where I got my skills. Now, clearly, a blacksmith in Robeton is not the best, or he would not be in Robeton. From there, I got bigger and stronger, allowing me to survive in the cruel world. I got dragged into the Ogre War. Survived, obviously, and I did not do anything great during the war. I was not the one to kill the Ogre King or anything rewarding. Years later, the Ogre King, Kraith the Cruel, returned. Big surprise for everyone, seeing as they thought he was dead. This time I was the one to kill Kraith. I was part of a small squad on a stealth mission into the castle, and I was the only member to return alive. The leader of the group was Grove, the King's Guard. He hated my guts, and that was the only reason he chose me. There were thirteen of us in total. I should have seen that as foreshadowing. Not all of them were scum like Grove. Some were, some were not. A few were doing it for the gold, a few for their families. A couple just wanted a story to impress their local tavern wench. One just wanted a night with the princess. <laughs> the good part is, one of the ogres swallowed him whole. Grove was able to kill a couple before getting his foot crushed. He knew he would not last long after that, so he took out as many as he could. His distraction allowed the members who were left to sneak into the throne room. Once Kraith was dead, the rest of the ogres ran for the mountains. I saved the realm and every soul in it. You've probably heard this story before. Brave knight defeats evil. Knight gets princess. Knight lives happily ever after. But what if you were unable to do that? I never wanted the princess, why would I? I never met her before. There is only one lady for me, the love of my life, taken from me years ago. She's the first and last thing I think of every day. I still remember her brown hair. The only reason I became Khan's apprentice was because she had to walk past the store to get to her job. I had an extra long hour so I could see her twice a day. So, what should you do after you save the realm? No wife? No children? No happy ending in sight? You have spent so long trying to achieve greatness, that once you achieve that, you... You don't... know what to do. I cannot just live out the rest of my days in peace. So I am forced with only one option. I keep going on quest after quest, so I can have a purpose in life. I'm not going to die of old age. I will be able to see my love soon, when one of these quests finally beats me. Still, that's the price of a hero. Thanks for listening. Click subscribe for new content. We are currently looking for voice actors. If you are interested, feel free to get in contact. If you enjoy our videos, then please consider clicking the donate link in the description to help with future projects. Also, click the Facebook link in the description to follow us on Facebook.